Hi, I am Cani Reza and welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I am here to demonstrate a theme called safety. And um, the unit is Rules and Responsibilities. And this is a cup, uh, the cover of our ebook that we provide online. And of course, all these demonstration lessons, you can download them online as well. I give you step by step how to teach each day for the whole unit on safety and how to introduce rules and responsibilities. And of course, this is categorized under physical science. All, everything that I'm going to do today, the vocabulary words, picture cards, the background knowledge, everything will be in this little ebook that's downloadable through our website, AmazingScienceLessons.com. Now let's start with our lesson. There's eight steps to creating an expert science lesson. I'm going to go through each eight steps and in our website you can also view the eight steps more specific. The very first thing I do is gather the children in front of me. I want the children close to me. I want the close contact. I have a chart where I'm going to be writing and connecting everything that I'm saying onto paper. I want children to see and begin the begin the first stages of writing. Now, how would I introduce a lesson? Number one, the very first step to creating an expert science lesson is my novelty. So with the theme safety, I'm going to introduce it with a little monkey. So this would be my novelty. I would show the children this and immediately I would say, what is this? I have had children as young as one and a half yell out, monkey! This immediately draws attention, is an attention getter. Of course, I don't have to use a puppet, I mean a, a, a stuffed animal. I can also use a headband. And I will tell the children, oh, so what, what is this? What headband am I wearing? What am I? A monkey. So I could use a headband. And if you don't have one of these, you can make your own, a little headband. And this pattern is also provided in our ebook. And you can also, and just put it on. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a monkey. So you can see there's a lot of variety, a lot of ways that you can introduce monkeys. It doesn't necessarily have to be a stuffed animal. So now that I've introduced my novelty, so what is this? And all the children said monkey. So I'm going to put monkey on my chart. And this is an outline of a monkey. You can also show a picture of a monkey. So I'm going to draw a line around it because I always tell the children we're going to do a diagram. And we're going to be talking about this monkey. So let me show you a picture of a monkey. Here is a monkey right here, the picture. And now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say, this is a monkey, same as this one here. And another thing that I'm going to do, now I'm going to connect the word monkey to print. I'm going to sound out each letter. As I'm saying each letter, I am going to be writing it because I want to model this to the children. So I'm going to say the first letter is M. M O. The next one is N, K, the next one is E, Y, monkey. Now another thing that I may also do for younger children, they need to connect directly to the picture. So I may write monkey here. So I'll put M, O, N, K, E Y. I noticed that when I would write it on the picture, it made an immediate connection to the monkey, to the word. So my next question is to the children. So tell me about this monkey. What do you see in the monkey? Eyes. He's got two eyes. Okay. He's got let's let's make two eyes on the monkey. Eyes. So I'm gonna write the word eyes. E Y-E-S. The monkey has 
two eyes. Do you have eyes? And have the children relate to themselves now. What else do you see? He has a mouth. Okay, the monkey has a mouth. So let's say mouth and let's connect to the mouth. M O U T H. Now, do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm gathering information, which is background knowledge from the children, from my novelty here, from my, it could be this or the headband. So I'm just getting, what do they know? Even if they don't have the experience of a monkey, I verbalized it. And just by looking at this, they can tell me what they see. And they can relate a little bit. They may still not be able to connect quite clearly to this little animal. But at least I'm giving them that experience right now. After we talk about it, and I continue for maybe about five to six minutes to talk about the monkey, and I continue to write words as they continue to give me more vocabulary. So now my next step to a science lesson is my objective. Remember my novelty, then background knowledge, how much do the children know about the monkey. Now let's go into our objective, a specific objective today you are going to learn the characteristics of a monkey. But before we do that, before we learn the characteristics of this monkey, you learn more things about the monkey. Let me tell you a little story. This is a little story about a little monkey named Chicky. This is Chicky. And Chicky, guess what? Lives in the jungle. This little monkey lives in the jungle. And we're going to learn more about what a jungle is. You live in your home, but he lives in the jungle, and his name is Chicky. And Chicky loves to climb up on branches. Now, let me step off a little bit. Notice that I'm not writing right now, because I'm just telling a story. I don't want to stop to write the word yet, because I'm just telling, relating the story through pictures also. Well, Chiki lives in the jungle, in a place called jungle. He likes to get up on branches, and he has a family. He has a mother and a daddy. He also has a sister, and he has a brother. So Chiki has a family, a sister, and a brother. And they love to get up on the tree and the father one day gave them a snack. Guess what their favorite snack is? What do you think monkeys like to eat? Bananas. You're right. We're going to learn other things that monkeys like to eat. They do like to eat fruit. They love bananas. And we're going to be studying about the banana. So you're right. Chicky likes to eat bananas. Let's put our banana over here. This is what Chicky was eating that day bananas and as him and his brother and sister were eating the bananas they kept dropping the peelings on the ground here's the banana peeling and the daddy looked down from top of the tree and he said oh here's lesson number one do we drop the peelings on the ground no why not number one it looks messy dirty, collects bugs. What else? We're going to investigate what else happens when someone steps on that pilly. Do we throw pills and, and food on the ground or on the floor in our home? No. This is where we start introducing some of the law, some of the rules. We do not drop trash on the floor. So we connect to the rules. It is our responsibility to keep the floor clean. So when we're walking, we don't trip and fall. So this was rule number one that the, that the monkey identified with. And of course, what color is the banana? Yellow, right? The banana is yellow. So let's put yellow right here. This is just the introduction. We've gone through three steps in our science lesson. Now let's go into our engagement. Every lesson, every day should have an engagement. Remember, 
all of our units, all of our units on our, uh, that we develop connect to the five senses. And that's why we have this here. We want to emphasize that all the, all the units need to connect to all five senses in order to make sense to the children and in order to provide a rich environment and a rich lesson. Lessons every day. Now engagement, if you have younger children, have the children bring stuffed animals, preferably a monkey. You know, here's a little monkey, here's another, a different type of material, different type of texture, or any kind of stuffed animal, just so they can relate. That I'm just talking about a little stuffed animal. He's not real, he's fantasy. And, or, you can also, for engagement, give them picture cards. In the picture cards, they can, each child will receive a picture card of a monkey that they will get to observe. If they, if they get the stuffed animal, they'll get to manipulate the animal, I mean the little stuffed animal, with a hand lens. Notice that they have a hand lens in one hand and they have the picture card on the other hand or the monkey, right, the stuffed animal. I'm going to tell the children, I'm going to give you the hand lens. Everybody will have one in their hand. Everybody will have a, a stuffed animal or a picture card in their hand. And then they will be actively engaged. Children will start looking at their monkey with the magnifying lens. Allow them time to investigate. Time to look at their picture. Time to observe it and touch it. If they have a stuffed animal, they can smell it. They can feel it with their fingers. They can look at each detail, all the detailed information about their little stuffed animal. After they've been actively engaged, observing, give them time to do this. This is engagement. Then, now, put your little lens down right next to you. Tell me what else did you observe about the monkey that you held in your hand? Or the picture card that you held in your hand. What else can you tell me? Oh, this is white. This monkey is white. Oh, so they have their different colors. So let's put white here. Monkeys are white. W-H-I-T-E. They're white. Any other color? Oh, well, this monkey is black. Oh, so they're also black. B L a C K. Any other color? Brown and colorful. Okay, brown. B R O W N. Same as this brown. Now look at we have two words with the letter beginning B. Black and brown. Children are now given new information based on their observation. Their observation with their hand lens. Today they happen to use a hand lens, one of the science tools. If I want them to learn more information, new information, my next step in a lesson would be connect through literacy. So let's connect through literacy. There are excellent, excellent books in the public library. And I always like to assign children to bring, to go to the library, bring us books on, on different topics that we're studying. This particular book is called Monkeys and it's written by Valerie Bowden. Excellent pictures. So now, what I'm going to do, after we finish our engagement, they've been actively involved. Now let's see what else can we learn about the monkey. So let's go through our book. Let's look at our, our book. Oh, look at this one. It's a combination of colors, this little monkey. Let's look at some more. Look at the big words, monkey. They can see this. This is connecting to print with literacy. So let's continue looking at some other pictures. Great, great pictures. Remember, we're just introducing 
and we can even read a little bit here just a few words just to help children connect since they have been in, in actively involved with the stuffed animal or the picture card now they're ready to sit down and listen to more things about the monkey what else do we need to learn about the monkey what else can we learn oh the monkeys like to eat flowers too oh look at the baby monkey so as you can see we can introduce much more information through literacy children enjoy the books they begin to understand that books give us lots of information good information and we can go on and add more information to our chart after we finish our literacy now let's connect to technology we cannot leave technology out we continue to bring the outside world into the child's brain so for technology I'm going to take one of the picture cards and I'm going to take the word monkey and I am going to tell them our word for the day is monkey when you go to the computer you're going to type all these letters onto your keyboard then of course remember you press the, the enter if it's younger children I will already have it open on monkeys and then we'll just kind of move the mouse so that it'll show up this is fascinating children become so excited to see all the different kinds of monkeys right there on the screen colorful variety of monkeys and they, they will continue to relate to their literacy as well as well as the picture as well as the stuffed animal we talked about and now on the screen on the computer look at the world that we're bringing into their little brains now don't you think they're going to learn to read monkey much quickly they see monkey on the boat monkey on the computer monkey here look at how fast they'll learn the word monkey the letter m the language vocabulary comprehension is unbelievable and they'll be excited to learn and now finally our last step in a lesson is summary how do we summarize okay tell me one thing you learned about the monkey one thing so now I'm going to point to one of the words they'll say oh monkeys like bananas you're right children may even say two eyes oh yes monkey has two eyes and as I continue to expand on the sentence structure they will also do the same thing oh the monkey has a mouth you're right oh the monkey has feet a tail let them express let them tell you even just through the pictures they can tell you oh they like to get on a branch you're right that's another thing that they learn they like to get up on a branch they found out that they have fur so many things so much wealth so much vocabulary it's exciting to see how it continues to develop in their little brain so this concludes this lesson of course I made it short I skipped lots of steps you give children more time to express themselves to uh, to give you information they're excited and uh, click on to the next one so you can see how this follows into the second day on our theme safety which our unit is safety uh, rules and responsibilities